Welcome to HGTV. I'm Austin Stahl. I'm Clay Martin. And I'm Brad Hendricks. So guys, what's new? Birthdays. Birthdays, birthdays are, are new. new. I guess there's a new birthdays every week. Yes. yes. So let's start with that. Okay. We have Jackson Venarni, Wyatt Johnson, Logan Gilbert, Yazenia Spinsby, and Mikhail Nielsen. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday to all you. So, Brian, is there anything new in the current events? Yes, we have Willie Mack little camp this weekend, and then we got Little Eye, too. Well, good luck to our FFA goers and our basketball players. Yep, good luck to you guys. And also, tonight, there is the, uh, that fundraiser, that basketball one, the um, basketball fun night. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, there it right there. <laughs> why, why could I not think of fun night? I have no idea. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, we'll let you know the results of that next week when we have a little more detailed yes. information about it. Other than that, I think we'll send it to Mr. Vincent to talk about track. Hi, this is Caitlin Boomsma from HGTV here with Mr. Vincent, the track coach. Uh, how many people are out for track? Uh, right now, Caitlin, we have 43 kids out, so we're pretty happy with our numbers. Uh, what events will you be strong in? Uh, this year, I think we're going to be very strong in our field events, and we've got some great runners out there, and with our senior leadership, I think we'll do a great job. Uh, what's your expectations for the year? Well, I just, uh, I really hope uh, the kids are just getting used to me as a new coach, um, and I'm getting used to them, so I really hope that the kids have fun this year uh, more than anything, but also that we can be very competitive in most of our track meets, and I think with our senior leadership and our other coaches, I think we're going to do a great job. All right, well, thank you, and back to you. Thank you, Caitlin, for the interview. Well, track season started, yes. as that interview indicated. Yep. And Mr. Vincent makes some good points. Yes. What are you looking forward to this year? Well, I'm looking forward to our track team to go win track meets <laughs> and do really good. What about, like, individually? Individually. hope they beat everyone and get first in their individual events and improve. Yeah. What about you, Brian? Are you off track? I am unfortunately not off the track. Are you going to be like a manager or anything? Or yeah, just... I'm going to do, do the student managing part of it. Really? So I'm going to be there. Oh, nice. Good. Well, anything else going on on track? I mean, practice started, well, unofficially last week. Yes. First track meet is next Friday? April 4th, I believe. Yes, it is. Hmm. And yeah. nowhere. So, Brian, going back to you and track, when was the last time you actually ran in track? Uh, it was probably about 6th grade. Oh, boy. Those were the back best. in the yes. Back when we were in Hitchcock doing that stuff. Running on that grass oh, field. Yeah, that was the good times. Kids tripping and falling and going to the holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's the days? Speaking of elementary, we do have an interview over there this week, and that was done by Tyler Oxley, so... To you. Hey guys, I'm here with Sienna. Uh, what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Alright, so... Uh, you like the warm weather? Yep. What you been doing outside? Playing tennis. Oh yeah? That sounds fun. Uh, what are you going to do when school gets out? Where do you go swimming at? Right. Sounds fun. Uh, yeah. Now I'm here with Blaze. Blaze, what grade are you in? First. Okay. What are you going to do when school gets out? I always go to home and do barn chores. Sounds like fun. Uh, been liking the nice weather? Yes. What you been doing out there? I'm pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. Uh, you been doing anything on the iPads? I've been doing that. Ah, well, that's nice. Now I'm here with Jacob. Jacob, what grade are you in? Third. All right. Uh, you've been liking this nice weather? Yeah. What you been doing outside? Riding my bike. Uh, what are you going to do when school gets out? Go to work at the farm. Okay. You been doing anything on the iPads? Uh, playing games. Ah, playing games. Back to you, Austin. Thank you, Tyler, for that interview. Well, quiz bowls yesterday, Brian. Yeah, that was some fun. And that's like, uh, 
Well, it's actually called an academic challenge, but the main thing is it's quiz bowl, so it always yeah. just gets called the quiz bowl. And it's where teachers sign up students to go based on how they do in that class. Mm -hmm. Did you go on anything right? Yes, I went into American history. Oh, nice. How'd you do? I got fourth. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. What about you, Clay? I didn't go. You didn't go? Nope. High five. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went in U.S. government and I placed first. Hey, boy. High five. Uh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Represent. Okay. Our quiz bowl team didn't do too hot. No? They didn't make it on the first round. Oh. Yeah, they lost the uh, SBA. I believe we had a couple seconds and a couple yeah. thirds as well, but I don't remember yeah. what they were, play, what they majored in yeah. and who they were. Yeah. We got second to last or third in it out of yep. what, five schools, six schools? Five, six schools, something like that. Alright, so it wasn't a very big competition, but it was fun. Yeah. I mean, all, all the seniors went, so I mean, you can congratulate them. And speaking of which, we do have a senior spotlight this week, and that was done by Eli. Eli. Yeah. Hey, this is Eli Hofer, and we're here with HTT, HTTV, and we're doing our senior spotlight with Cole Chaplin. Alright, Cole, tell us a little bit your, about your favorite high school memories. I would say my top two memories, and they're both about football, of course. Uh, sophomore year when we beat upset Slade Buttes, play first round, and my senior year when we upset Rick Bowen. Yeah, that was a good one. Speaking of football, you made this year's All-Star game. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Get to play with the best of the best. Get to play 11-man football for the first time. Get to play for Blue North. The best players in the state. You bet. Congrats on that. And closing, uh, tell us a little bit about how you got through high school. Tell the little kids how. You do your work, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> work on time. I don't know. It's pretty easy. Just have fun? <laughs> yeah, have fun. All right, we'll say back to you guys. Brian, do you know the ostriches? Do you know, you know what ostriches? Fly this bird, you know? Oh, yeah? They, they can kick an animal or a human and it kills really? it. Really? That, that's very interesting. I, yeah. You know a pink fairy armadillo? It's just like a mole, Seriously? but with like a pink tutu around it. Yeah, and it's got a show on it too. Yeah, yeah, it'd be totally awesome. Well, what's your favorite? You guys do know we're rolling. What? Yeah. Mm. So, so before you, I let you two continue, uh, I'd like to thank Eli for that last interview. How did you two even get talking about this? <laughs> he just started talking about fairies, and he said, "Hey, my favorite animal is whatever he said." Pink fairy armadillo. Yeah, very, very good animal. It sounds like a fake name, but they're actually real. Yeah. It's kind of like a mole that and a mole put together. Half like a shell of an armadillo. I say we should get one. Yeah. And an ostrich. And an ostrich. Yes. How about, how about a tiger? Can you get a tiger? No. No. A liger. Because the ostrich would kill the tiger. No, the tiger would kill the ostrich. No. The it's, ostrich will kill the tiger. We're, we're done. Tiger. We're, we're out of time. We're done. I'm Austin Stahl. That's Brian Hendricks. And he's Clay Martin. This has been HTTV. I'm brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue.